hello friends in this video we are going to fix the vlc media player lagging shuttering or skipping issue or the crashing problem in your vlc player so if you have the same problem i will show you the best solution to fix this problem so first you can just click on this tool on the top and go to your preferences so when you click on it and here you are seeing the show settings on the bottom click on the all and here just click on the inputs by codex and here you just need to search for this preferred video resolution even you can go with the full hd and you can select the best available after the selecting to full hd or best available you can try the both and after that now you can just little scroll down and you will see this file caching in the advanced so you can see the value if the value is 1000 then you can just here type the 2000 you can double the value if here it is the 500 then you can just type the 1000 and i have the 300 value so i'm just typing the 600 after that now you can just double click on this input by codes and then go to the video codes and then go to the ffmpeg just click on that and now here you are seeing these settings on the right hand side and you are seeing the number of threads and here you can give its value 2 and then go to the x264 on the left hand side and now here you are seeing the number of reference frame here you can just give the value to 3 if there is 0 1 2 value then you can give its value to 3 and after this now you can just little scroll down and you will see this video just double click on it and here you are seeing the output modules so you can just select this video output module to the automatic if there is selected to any other then you can just select the automatic and click on the save and now you can just go to the tools again and go to the preferences and here you can go to the input by codex on the top so you can just click on that and here you are seeing the hardware accelerated decoding so here it is selected to automatic if there is selected to automatic then you can select it to disable and if this already selected to disable then you can choose it to automatic so i am choosing it disable and click on the save and then you can just restart your vlc player or even you can restart your computer to make best changes so after the restarting i'm very sure guys your problem will be fixed so if your problem is fixed so please hit the like button and also subscribe i will see you guys in the next video